based on the electricity that's traveling through this arena and decibel level of the crowd, I think it's safe to say the roof of this building just might blow off. Whoa, look at him here. Look at him here. Yeah, he's making another break and only gets halfway out before getting snatched back down. Look at him, look at him. He's got a grip on the cage. He's going for it. Oh, he's going for it, all right, Cole. He's trying to get over the cage and out to the arena floor. What a climb. You have to be so careful going up the cage. Oh, boy. That's one way to keep him in the cage. Chris Jericho developed his famous finishing move, the Lion Tamer Submission Hold. And in recent years, because that wasn't punishing enough, Jericho introduced the Code Breaker, which is a form of a backbreaker. So Jericho has two finishing moves that he can use at any time. I think we've got a moment here, and for Dean Ambrose, what can you tell us? Definitely looking confident in this one-on-one -on -one environment. We're going to find out a lot here tonight. Head to head, no excuses. Let's get it on. Oh, out of nowhere! He's simply reminding him that he's here. He's looking to create some separation here. Well, Michael, we all know how adamant Chris is about his proclamation that he is the best in the world at what he does. When you have two finishing moves, it definitely means you take punishing your opponents seriously. Wait, what the? Hold on, now where is he going? Oh, man. You hope when you see someone climb up there that they at least have a plan. Whoa! Climbing out might not have been such a good idea. He's climbing the turnbuckle. Will this pay off? Oh, they're taking a risk here. That's how you win matches. Good Lord, that wasn't even close. So that's what it's like being so far off the mark. A reversal from Ambrose. Oh, that was slick. Wait, what the? Hold on. Now where is he going? Oh, man. You hope when you see someone climb up there that they at least have a plan. Oh, boy. That's one way to keep him in the cage. Look, we don't know what Dean Ambrose is going to do next. And you want a strategy? For anyone going up against Dean Ambrose, you have to be ready for anything. Because anything is what Dean Ambrose can do to an opponent during a match. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. No, oh, wait, nice reversal. A reversal from Ambrose. Oh, that was slick. What's he gonna do here? What's he gonna do here? He's making a statement here with this attack. Look, Dean Ambrose. He looks like he's got the, the arm trap cross leg STF. That'll do it. That's the longest name in the history. Arm trap cross leg STF. You know, Michael, Ambrose is so out there. Attacking him first might straight. The shoulders are down. One, two. And it's up. He got the shoulder up. What a competitor. Chris Jericho refuses to give up. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. Plenty of momentum behind that kick. Here's the walls of Jericho rising up before our eyes. Adios, sayonara, see you later. Here's the cover. One. And he kicks out. And he lives to fight again. Dean Ambrose is not gonna go away that easy. Oh, great move. He's looking at it. Jericho, code breaker, code breaker. God, did he nail him? One of the reasons Chris Jericho is he goes for the quick pin attempt. One, count, ref, count. count. Two. And a kick out. Uh, the kick out's all that's saving. This match goes on. Dean Ambrose is not going to go away that easy. This is where you need to look out. The wall of a WWE steel cage measures 15 feet. Pulled back in. This is where you need to look out. The wall of a WWE steel cage measures 15 feet high, and that's dangerous no matter who you are. Uh, you can say that again, Michael. That'll definitely... He's nearing the floor, yes. and his opponent can just look on.
Man, he's got to feel great. We got a couple of highlights here. Let's check them out. I can't believe what we saw in that match. Let's go to the highlights here. I can't believe what we saw during this one. Here's your winner, Dean Ambrose. A very impressive victory. That was simply a case of one guy determined to prove his dominance over another. And I'll tell you, the roof nearly blew off this place in Rosemont when the bell finally rang to end this one.